What's going on guys? XX Ventral here doing a little Call of Duty commentary, playing on the map Lockdown and Kill Confirmed. That's not really here what I'm here to talk about today. As usual, because I have another personal experiences for you guys, and this one is on the friend zone. Now if you don't know what the friend zone is, it has to do with relationships and stuff. And uh, I think it's like the worst thing in the entire world. So let's get into it. If you don't know what the friend zone is, it's basically where you like a girl and you think she likes you back and so you go to ask her out and she's like I just want to be friends that is the friend zone and I'm gonna be telling you my little personal experience with the whole thing and it goes a little bit more in depth than that I don't really give a good explanation but whatever anyway so I, I like this girl forever literally since sixth grade and I'm in eighth grade now and the problem is I'm so like freaking small and like my voice is like this it's when I talk to people, whenever I like compliment them on stuff because I like them, they'll see it as sweet and adorable and then bam, instant friend zone. And it's just really stupid. And so I made a promise to myself at the beginning of the year and I wouldn't talk to this girl. Because every time I started talking to her, I started liking her and I started to obsess over her. And I just started um, basically, I don't even know. I started what yeah pretty much and I started to go complete creeper status and just like stalk her all the time and it was it was just ridiculous and I didn't know what to do so I promised myself I wouldn't talk to this girl parents night out comes along a parents night out is what it was was the parents get to go out eat dinner and then the eighth grade students had to babysit some of the lower grades I guess that's kinda what it was anyway sorry I just ate fried chicken and I'm really out of breath but, <laughs> like a fat kid. Anyway. Daddy. Whatever. Anyway, so, Parents Night Out comes along, and I'm talking to this girl named Jillian. Not the one I like, by the way. And, we're, you know, we're just chilling. And then the girl comes over. And, I'm not going to just get up and walk away, because then I'm going to seem like a douchebag. So, kind of have a conversation. And I'm thinking to myself, the entire time while she's talking, I was like, just get up and walk away. Just get up and walk away. You're going to start liking her. You're going to stop liking her. And then we get into a conversation. Can't now I can't stop thinking about her and all this other crap. But she was saying stuff like, "Oh yeah, I liked you so much during the summer," and all this stuff that made me think like, "Oh, she, she likes me. I, I I could finally get this girl that I've wanted forever." So I had everything planned out. I knew when I was going to ask her out and everything. And I was hanging out with her, and it was just uh, I think it was yesterday actually. Yeah, it was the day of the dance. I was going to ask her out. And the weirdest thing happened. I was hanging out with Jillian again, and it was, I don't know, we were kind of just chilling like usual. And she comes up, and, you know, she starts involving herself into a conversation, because, uh, I don't know, she has no friends, and she likes to butt herself into other conversations. But, <laughs> um, kind of weird, because normally the person I'm talking to likes to do that more than her. But anyway, so, and she just buds herself into our conversation, and she's like, Ethan, you're so adorable, and I'm like, oh, uh, um, thank, thank you? Like, I didn't really know what to say. Adorable is not the word I like to be called, although it's better than short, squeaker, Jew bag, any other words. I'm not even Jewish, and I get called a Jew bag. <clears throat> Sean, have anything to add to that comment? About you calling me a Jew bag? I call you a Jew bag? Yeah! When do I call you a Jew bag? Oh, and every time you say Jew bag. When they call you a fag, but that's it. Oh, well, fag, bag, Jewish, same thing. Um, anyway, so, and then she's like, Ethan, you're so adorable. And I'm like, uh, okay. She goes, but I can't go out with you. You're just too much in the friend zone. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? I was casually flirting. I ignored her for, like, a full, like, a f the, almost the entire eighth grade year. And I was trying to be as casual as possible. And I still get put in the friend zone? I was so mad. Like, I wasn't, I, w I didn't cry about it just because... Like, I don't, I try not to cry about things anymore because it makes me feel so, just downgrades myself because I'm always talking about, oh yeah, I wish I was like bigger and taller and then I just go and act like a bitch. So, I mean, that's not really what I like to do. Anyway, so, it's just, I was so mad and I, like, I can't stop thinking about this girl. And I know, I, I read people's comments, mainly at one person's in particular, and they're all like, it's not that person is, you're going to marry or anything. It's like, I don't even, like, care about, like, marrying them or anything. It's just 
I love being around her and just like her presence just I don't know it makes me feel good and I don't want to creep her out or anything because there's a guy that does that in her school and I don't want to feel I just I don't want to make her feel awkward because I'm not one of those people that likes to just creep on people that's why I promised myself in the beginning of the year that I wouldn't um, hang out with her because then I'd start liking her then I'd start flirting with her and then I'd go ultimate creeper status and I didn't want to do that to her, but I just, I can't get this girl out of my head. I still keep thinking about her. I haven't gone as far as deleting her on Facebook to prevent myself from randomly looking at her pictures and reading through her posts. Like, it's a total creeper thing to do, but at least she can't, like, figure it out. Because I am not, I'm not going liking every picture, commenting on every picture. And it's just, she's so pretty, and I can't. I mean, she's not the brightest nail in the haystack, but, I mean, <laughs> she's still, like, I mean, she gets a 4.0, but, I don't know, some of the things she does is just, it's just weird, but, I don't know, something about her is, like, all the girls think she's, like, this monstrosity of ugliness, <laughs> and, but, I, like, all the guys think she's really pretty, I mean, it's not all about the boobs, because, I'm not gonna lie, her old boyfriend, <laughs> her old boyfriend did tell me her, her boob size, and they're, like, kind of exactly, um, my exact, like, number of what I like, but, <clears throat> it's not even that, because, uh, like, it's in eighth grade, it's not like I'm in a motorboater without getting, like, pink eye or AIDS or something, it, it's just, I don't know, I can't get this girl out of my head, and it just, it makes me feel so creepy, you know, it's just... Uh, I don't know. I really can't get this girl out of my head. And I don't, I don't need, uh, I don't need, like, you're probably not going to marry her comments. I just, I want to get her out of my head, and I want to, I don't want to go back to ignoring her, because now I'm in this phase of, like, I just want to hang out with her all the time. And the reason I was able to ignore her before is because it was during the summer. During the summer, I stopped liking her. It was just, I was just like, okay, whatever, you're not cool. And then in the summer... She told me over Facebook she liked me, and I was, I made that promise like two weeks before. I was like, no, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And I missed my perfect opportunity to be with like this perfect girl that I obsess over all the time. So, that was my story, I hope you guys like it. No, you're not going to marry her comments, because those comments just make, just piss me off. So, thank you guys for watching. My name is Venge Cole, and I hope you had a great day. See you later, bye!